Meteorologist Kirsten Lang, let's take a look at the chance for some storms. Severe storms, really the main threat's going to be off towards the west and along the panhandle, but we will be looking for a chance for some rain and some cooler temperatures. That's the big kicker here because we have had some heat across the area, especially for some September. All right, so our future cast through Monday and Tuesday, it's quiet. I'm just going to let it roll because there's really not much to show you aside from maybe some building cloud coverage as we head into Tuesday. By Tuesday afternoon, though, you'll start to see some showers and storms develop and spark off towards the west. Again, as you noticed in that previous map, you're seeing that slight risk for severe weather, mainly along that I-35 corridor and then westbound. So Tulsa, not under that, but still I think we're going to be seeing the chance for some storms um, as we head into Wednesday morning. So here's how it's looking then Tuesday afternoon. You start to get a little bit of that daytime heating, and then there you go. Those storms develop 5, 6 p.m. west of Oklahoma City, west of that I-35 corridor. Those will roll through, but actually lose intensity as we start to see that the sunset and you lose that daytime heating. So then there's nine o'clock and you're just looking at some cloud coverage, of course, that's kind of come off of that that affects the eastern portions of the state. But you'll see the showers and the storms still kind of lingering, but then also dissipating around Oklahoma City. Then you move into early Wednesday morning and that trough starts to push through. So that cold front is coming and that will bring in a couple of showers and storms early on Wednesday morning so that we could be seeing a little bit of a soggy commute Wednesday as you're heading off to work and to school. But then I think by 10 a.m., yeah, I'm pretty quick moving. They should be out of here and then impacting areas in northwest Arkansas then at that point. So I think it's going to be pretty quick lived for us. Now, of course, there's still, you know, call it 36, 48 hours until this happens. So there's a good chance that some of this may be uh, still evolving and changing um, over the next day or so as it approaches. But that's what we're looking at on your Monday. So let's take a look at the highs because here's how things are going to change. Tuesday's high will still be warm, still above average. We're still going to be in the upper 80s and even low 90s. And then fast forward to Thursday, because here's where you'll see big change. We're going to see those highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. So it's much welcomed, I'd say. Look at the seven-day planner then. We have 90s to start the week, but then 60s by the weekend. Next weekend looks to be so nice with 60s on Saturday and low 70s on Sunday.